Again, sorry, I muted you. You need to unmute yourself again. Okay. Now I get it. How are you, ma'am? I'm How good. Are How are you? I'm also good. I'm good. Thank you so much for uh, for helping me out to clear my PMP exam. It's all because of you. No, no, you did it yourself. I was amazed. You were not in my workshop, live workshop. You were part of that mentor program. You did a self-study. You didn't ask for a mentor. And then you passed the exam, isn't it? Yes, because uh, because uh, your video lectures uh, that I have seen your recorded session, it was such a great session that I didn't need any help. Everything was quite clear to me uh, on going through those uh, mentor programs. It was, uh, um, and I must say that uh, what I have done, I was making uh, notes from your uh, videos. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I made those uh, notes and uh, I continued those notes <clears throat> by adding uh, the questions which I was thinking that uh, uh, that I should note, note it down. So, I was noting the questions and answer as well. So, on the last day, uh, on the last few days, I just went through those notes. Okay. And uh, what was the most... Uh, most helpful things was uh, your test preparation kit and especially the PMI clone questions. I understand. Okay. Good, good. Good to know. So tell me your background first because I, I don't think we have spoken before this. So if you can tell me what you do um, and how did you prepare the entire stuff? Yeah. You're just background domain. I work as an uh, industrial automation for okay. beverage packaging line. So awesome. what, what we do, I work for a company named Sidel. Okay. So it's a France-based company. So we are producing machineries okay. for bottles production and uh, beverage production, filling, capping, labeling, and entire uh, packaging. Awesome. And to end. Yeah. So, so this PMP program, which I did, and you have seen this, were you able to connect the dots? You know, it's a different yeah. industry. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I worked I was I was completely able to connect the dots and even few of the things which was not clear to me before okay. and it became more clear. Oh, so I was how I was I was able to connect that. I was after your after your classes and during your classes, but I was thinking, oh, that's why that person did this. Okay. Yeah, because okay. You know, sometimes uh, it's uh, we. Suppose the project manager is taking some action or he is uh, like uh, discussing things and all. So sometimes I think that why he is asking these things from us, why he is asking these these are reports. Just which, yeah. Uh, why is he making my life hell? Like, yeah, like <laughs> brainstorming things. Uh, so there's, uh, there are points which I think that it, these are the very general things that the project manager should know. But no, if you follow the process, yeah. you should take the points from everyone. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. And what about Agile? You know, uh, there was an Agile section um, and I gave, I think, some exercise out there as well for Agile, uh, you know, that discussion. And were you able to hear a student asking question and did it help you in those mentor sessions? There yeah, was some yes. student asking question, right? Yes, there were some students asking questions, but uh, uh, those questions was uh, like, I was very obvious with the answers and the answers okay. that you are going to tell them. Because okay. uh, when I was following your mentor session, it was quite clear to me that this answer should be according to your uh, your uh, what you were explaining. Okay, good. So Agile was not a problem at all. Uh, looking at your background, because, you know, uh, in packaging, in fact, you can use package Agile in packaging as well, but people don't use Agile Agile uh, per se in product uh, companies isn't it yeah yeah we do we don't use agile but we do uh, we have service projects but the service projects also the scope is very clear things like that, that this is correct the scope. correct but i can say that uh, we use a hybrid approach how okay. that in some parts like suppose uh, there is uh, the scope was to implement uh, a certain uh, uh, packaging size. 
mm-hmm. but the packaging size cannot be achieved due to because it was an unforeseen uh, event that happened which we mm. were not expecting mm. so that happened so we mm. cannot achieve this so what we do we we connect to the design department mm. and we change the design then we again right. implement and we change right. the design we again implement yeah. Yeah. So these are the small items that we would try to iterate collect. through. Yeah, right. you iterate yeah. through. My daughter is also in design, and she is also in packaging design. So I can understand. Oh, okay. That's yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good. yeah. So good. I, I'm like really amazed. And uh, okay, tell me about the PMP questions in the PMP exam. What kind of question came, and what was easy for you to answer, and what was difficult for you to answer? uh frankly speaking ma'am when uh, i was uh, i actually i made your your that uh, that section that agile section in the test prep kit mm-hmm. and uh, uh pmi clone questions mm-hmm. and test number 5 okay uh, test number 5 i think it is so the uh, the full length test test number 5 so i did, uh, did these tests to quite uh, i made these tests and uh, i made the notes as well the questions which were wrong so uh, mm. because for me it was right so that's yeah. what i did i put the reason when a situation is there like this then mm. we have to follow this okay. don't follow, don't think about anything don't else don't do your common sense stuff yes, yeah yes 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 <laughs> don't do your common sense stuff you have to follow this okay so when do, when the questions came into the exam it was quite a similar pattern i must say because okay. most of the questions were uh, the situation based questions and uh, the things were happening suppose there is a schedule delay and you have to reach a, a guy now uh, so suppose for example a question was there um, uh, because of uh, the resource because of the resource a team member a few of the activities were delayed now you need to Uh, what is the first thing that we will do? True. Yeah. Thing, okay. For me, for me, before it was go to the team member and ask him what are the problems. Right. So, yeah. But as per the PM, PMI, and PMP, it is get your team at one place and brainstorm that how can we fix this thing. Right. Okay. Great. So yeah. most of the questions were situational questions. Most of them. Okay. I think. Ninety-five percent questions were the situational questions. Only few questions were there, like a simple question, like uh, there was a definition of persona, mm-hmm. and uh, there was an option that uh, what is this? Okay. So, so you uh, were able to answer. It was the first thing which I tell in a child class. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Okay. And what were most difficult type of questions? Any question which was like, "Are this was really difficult." I, there was there were questions which were very difficult. I think four or five questions in ev- all every section. Mm-hmm. Those questions were like that. But at, I don't. I did not remember because the paper is made in such Correct. a way that it's not yeah. in mind that what was what yeah. was asked. There is right. only one or two questions at the end that yes. you are able to reconnect. Oh, yeah. this question was there. But true. True. The thing that I, uh, as per my experience. there was no direct questions no questions related to like uh, the process the name the process mm-hmm. and the questions like what are the components of risk register mm-hmm. so there was no such questions all questions were situational based that this is happening mm-hmm. and what will you do now very nice okay and you know how did you do your exam there were say, three parts to it so um how did you uh, first part 60 questions were you doing time management and stuff like that and where did you do the questions yeah what happened at the starting uh, when i when i was uh, when i was when i entered and uh, they gave me uh, their uh, the 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 uh, the rules so you did it in the center yeah yes the center okay the, i advise yeah. center typically so did you go through that video of mine how what are the best practices uh, was there any video like that in the mentorship uh yes the yes last one. there was right? last, the very last video yeah. i remember yeah. that video and that's why i went to center okay that, uh, if yeah. there is a connection problem the mod the sound right. you are saying yeah. something yeah. that's yeah. why i didn't take the risk i okay. directly went to the center and it was very close from here it was like 2 km from me okay so i was happy with that so they gave me the rule book the the test was 230 minutes so okay. what i disconnected 
uh, are uh, wrongly assumed that i thought that 20 minutes is included into this 230 test minutes. yeah oh okay okay but it was but that you got to... extra 20 minutes then so for what i did i uh, in the first 60 minutes i finished the section 1 65 minutes and i click send because i wanted to take rest i was like no i am so much exhausted that i wanted to take rest but i will not take more than 5 minutes Okay. So I did not get chance to re go through those sixty questions because I was Answer. thinking that if I will do it the same way, yeah. then there is a possibility that at the end I may run out of time. Mm. But okay. when I restarted the exam, I realized that I was very stupid out there <laughs> that I think like that. I thought like that, and uh, then I uh, like uh, spent seven. Then you got to minutes. know. Then you got to know. Ten minutes were not included in the exam yeah. at that point of time. Good, good. At that point of time. Okay. so i gave extra time to section b and section c so at the end when the paper was about when the time was about to finish and i finished the my 180th question there was uh, still 2 minutes left okay so uh, and to those 2 minutes i went uh, again through the uh, flagged questions hmm. but uh, at that moment i thought the flagged questions are also right so i didn't have to do anything okay i just like some bit the time was not over and i clicked some and then right. i was like, but i was not expecting that i i was thinking that there is a possibility that i may fail the exam really? because of the section 1 yeah, yeah okay because of the section 1 i was thinking that i should have gone through section 1 again because during section 1 i have flagged more near about 10 questions okay i was thinking that the next time i will uh, take Video, you know, the while there's a the process, the yeah. result is in process. Yeah. And so during during that moment, I was thinking, uh, next time I will uh, manage my time accordingly. <laughs> Not nothing to worry. It's just gone. It's because of section A. Because section two and section three was very good, and I was very satisfied with them. But there was a ray of ray of hope. Yeah. Because of that, my heart was pumping. <laughs> that may be is a possibility that I will pass the exam. And then what did you see on the screen? Congratulations! Uh, on the yeah. screen there was a there was a little paragraph and the PI. So there was not, it's not mentioned that you have it was mentioned there that you have passed the exam, but mm-hmm. I was not really able to find it because I was so sure inside that <laughs> I am going to fail. So and that screen that lasted for around few seconds, I think thirty seconds or something, and I was not been able to grasp the uh, the yeah. wording because yeah. I was so much nervous at that time. And, and the screen just went away, and the survey started. So I finished the survey. And no, no, it, the screen doesn't come. The screen doesn't show anything. It doesn't show you your result. It just says processing, and the survey yes. comes, and the survey has to come. You know, so I had the same feeling. I was like praying to God, and then clicked on submit, and then it was blank. And I was like, oh my God, the screen went blank. Where is my test? I went to the outside people, and I said, hey, I submitted. Where is my result? so they came they said no no your pro- your test is still in progress so i was like oh my god everything gone that means so i came back and there was this survey so there was no result so survey comes up after the result okay so then you did survey yeah uh, before survey there was one pmi page from the pmi okay. there was a paragraph there something was written and i was not able to grasp it yeah yeah instead yeah i was so nervous at the time But I thought that I got passed, <laughs> and I I immediately finished the survey, and I went outside. I ran to the guy who was sitting outside, and I asked him, "What is my result?" And I said, "Oh, my result!" <laughs> like, wait, we are printing it for you. So he sent me, and I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> <laughs> awesome. At Good. that moment, at that moment, I literally said, "Thank you, Kavita man. Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> Because of you only. <laughs> no, no, you. Did I not. haven't touched anything else. I haven't touched anything else. The only thing that I did repeatedly was your twenty-one days test prep. Very nice. Okay, and the concept because the concepts are the base. Yeah. To help you understand the test. So if the concepts are good, so you watch through each and every video, right? You know the bridge to PMP and then those sessions, live session, homework, let's play. because yeah. that helps build the concept and then the test gonna come if somebody jumps to the test i don't think they're gonna pass the exam yeah, i i think I, so I yeah i do think so because it's very important to go through those videos and those videos are, 
I have been through those videos again when my concept was not cleared and some few of the questions were there during my preparation. And I was thinking that I need to see your video again for that particular subject. So I went okay. there and saw your video twice. It happened for quite a lot of videos. Very nice. I'm so happy. And then I'm really happy. I generally don't do these interviews. I did it for you because you were my mentorship. Uh, person and I'm like I need to really talk to you you know how was your experience for the entire uh, course so anything which you want to talk about anything which I need to do in the course anything to change any creative idea um, okay. anything which you think has to be done I don't think so man, because your, your mentor program is so perfect is it okay it's so perfect that uh, there are a few things that you do what the first thing is when the people hear to you, they are so much relaxed because uh, because of your the way you make people understand and it's so polite and it's so humble. So, like, it's very much clear. Uh, during yes. those programs. Somebody told me that this guy went through my videos and he used to sleep while listening to my videos, and I'm like, is it really? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did that happen with you? No. <laughs> No, but I was very much happy with your mentorship program with you because it was like it directly striking my uh, my area where it needs to be striked. Good, good, good to know. And how many, um, so you did the mentorship program and then you did test prep kit. How many hours every day and how many days? How many days? I finished your uh, mentorship program in 10 days. Okay. Uh, I was I was on site and on site I was uh, in the morning I was going through your sessions and in the evening so I did it in ten days and then I started the test prep kit. Okay. I did the test prep kit for around uh, fifteen days. Then there was one month of gap. Okay. The entire November I was not been able to go through your uh, sessions and course because I was traveling. Okay. And, uh, uh, in December, I again started. I simply opened the test prep kit and started doing. Then I realized that I have uh, maybe that I need to revise again. Okay. You know, yeah, because sometimes the concept goes away. Yeah. Because it's been a month that I haven't touched yeah. Yeah. That, that topic. So I went through your videos again, few videos again, and the special, especially what I. Uh, what was my main target was to go through your your questions which are in between the subjects. Okay. When you're in between the topics, that one or two questions were there. Okay. So if those questions are wrong for me, so what I was doing, I was going through that particular video again. Okay. So okay. this is how I made sure that, okay, now I have revised everything. Now let's okay. go back to the test subject. In between the questions are those questions which are called let's play, easy questions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. let's play okay. sessions. Okay. So okay. let's play sessions. I have I have done like all the let's play sessions again. All of okay. them. Okay. Twice. Very nice. Twice or twice, I think. It and builds then, you help the confidence level, actually, those let's play, because the video and then directly you are doing let's play, you know, everything gets supplied there and then. And then you hear the keywords also, I think. Did you focus on the keywords or? Yes, I have uh, highlighted the keywords in my notes as well. <laughs> and that was very helpful because the keywords, these are, I think, a uh, uh, few of the questions were there like that, uh, okay. which were relating to the keywords. And uh, I was simply uh, uh, looking out for the keyword. And okay. as soon as I was having this keyword, I was just clicking. So on you know, and, yeah, yeah, you know, looking at the keyword, this is the answer. Okay, good, answer. good, good to know. Keyword, keywords were very much helpful. I, in fact, I, what I have done, I have made like thirty pages of my uh, notes, and on those notes, I have almost sixty keywords marked. Did you download the shortcut book also? Yes, I okay. downloaded the shortcut book and I went through that book. Better. It had keywords for you guys previously written. Yeah. yeah. Did it help? Yes, it helped. It okay. Helped. And then but, you uh, had your, yeah. yeah. But most of the, but as I told you, the questions were the situational based questions. Right, there was right. no direct question that this, uh, does this register, like a risk register have this item. Right, on. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't get any, um, you know, direct question at all. And no ITTO question. I, I used to remember previously, people used to fail because, you know, some people just tell them 
mug up the ITU and you're going to pass. It does not happen. And now PMI anyway is strictly saying that don't. Uh, no. So, yeah, so it, it's a good thing. So did you go through Hello Choice as well? Hello Choice, there is this yes. PDF. Okay. Yes, How is that? Choice, but yeah. I haven't went through during this, uh, during this month. I went through Hello Choice in the month of October. Oh, okay. So it wasn't, uh, so mostly what I do is I cover all of that anyway in my, you know, yes, session yes. and in yes. much, much more detail rather than that, that I know your time would be running out. So tell me about your family as well. Somewhat, you know, what do you, you know, about your family? So. Uh, my family, they live in Uttarakhand. And, okay. Uh, I, just, I just got married last year in the month of December. Not last year, it's now 2020. I got married in 2020. In the month recently yes, no recently. 2020 is now we are in 2022 so one year passed yeah yes yes ma'am okay and, uh, i have uh my <clears throat> i have a sister as a younger sister and uh i have a wife and my parents so okay my my sister and my wife they both were working for the software industry they are okay. the software engineers and they are working from home from their okay itself. okay but, uh, I cannot because I am a site engineer. So I am yeah. traveling from site to site. Yeah, yeah. So does your wife stay with you or they are here in India? No, they are in India. Okay. She is not moving to Bangkok right now because the problem here is because I'm not going to stay here. True. So you, yeah, I understand. So it was now, easier for you. Yeah. yeah. Now also next week they are trying to send me to West Africa. So it's... it's a, this is one more reason that I need to clear PMP because I, there was a position coming for the project management services and I applied for that position and the interview was good. Now yeah. I add on this PMI certificate to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I'm asking them to give me this position. So they are awesome. And you will get it. So I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and let me know in case you need any help whatsoever. I'm there. You can ping me directly. Um, you have my number, so yeah. and I'm really, really happy for you. Thanks for pinging me and telling me. And I'm happy that you, I got connected to you. <laughs> I got to know about you through YouTube, and I was so happy after. You know uh, how I decided that I need to go to your session after your YouTube introduction video. And I was so like uh, taken with your voice that you, you, you are explaining it so politely and such in such a way that it's just directly hitting inside directly <laughs> thank going you. inside it i don't have to re like uh, again look at the video to understand what what you said so nice. the, i think uh, the teaching theory yeah, teaching uh, mechanism is such a great mechanism that it directly creates uh, impact Thank you. Thank you so much. I sometimes have this doubt, you know, am I doing the right thing? I don't know. So when I talk to you know people like you, I feel reaffirmed. It, it's so nice to hear that probably I'm making a difference, you know. Yes, ma'am. You, you are making a difference. And my PMP is just because of you. No, no, come Not on. You. It's all your effort. It's all your effort. I just helped. Good, Aviral. I wish you all the best. And... Do let me know in case you need any help. For sure.